Hello friends, this video on getting to know plants part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now look at some of the modifications of stem. So as I told you that these parts of the plant, so right now we are talking about stem. Now in certain plants, stems are modified into uh, some other structural form so that they can serve a different purpose. So these kind of modifications of stem are seen in, a, in quite a few plants. So we will see that stems are modified in various ways in various plants to perform different functions. Now rather than the normal function of a stem that is uh, to you know to transport water and nutrients to different plant parts. So that's the main function of any stem. But sometimes stems are modified to, for, to perform different functions like giving mechanical support or to, to store food. So stems can also store food. So normally we know that storing food is generally the uh, function of leaves of plants. But sometimes stems are modified to store food. Sometimes stems are also modified to perform photosynthesis. So what is photosynthesis? It is the process of making food in presence of light. So this is a very popular, this is something because of which makes the plants popular and unique. So plants can prepare their own food in presence of light. So prepare food in presence of light. So this photosynthesis is also uh, uh, the job of leaves. So leaves perform photosynthesis normally, but sometimes uh, stems are modified to perform photosynthesis. Defense, that is to protect the plants from enemies or any other outsider. So protection is also uh, something which stems can perform. So let us look at some specific modifications of stem. Now the aerial stems, that is the stems which are present above the ground, sometimes very weak stem, stems are modified to form climbers. So climbers was something which we had discussed a little while ago. So in climbers what happens if the stems of the plant are very very weak. So in that case what happens the stem itself cannot go upright and it cannot provide support to the entire plant. So in that case what it does is it actually climbs upon a neighboring object. So wherever it finds a pillar or a grill or a door or whatever. So it starts climbing upon that object because the stem itself is weak enough to climb on its own. So here in this picture you can see the stem tendrils. Tendrils are the soft stems of these plants which can uh, very, which are flexible enough to grow on uh, any neighboring object or any neighboring support. So this is one example of stem modification. So what purpose does it serve? It helps in providing mechanical support to the plant because had the stem not been able to climb on some other object in that case the weak stem would have not been able to give enough mechanical support to the plant. So that means it is giving mechanical support. And you look at the grapevine. So you see here. So there are rods arranged like this so the grapevine starts climbing up over it. Sub aerial stems. So there are certain stems which do not really grow above the ground rather it grows along the ground. So when let's say this is ground so above the ground would be this along the ground would be this like this and below the ground would be this. So that that's the three terms aerial sub aerial and underground. So subaerial would mean the branches would creep or move horizontally along the ground. So examples of creepers are pumpkin and watermelon. As I said, so how they move their stems would move along the ground like this. So instead of moving upright, it will go horizontally along the ground. You can also look at another example of the strawberry is another such example where we see that the stems they do not move upright rather than they move horizontally along the uh, ground. So here if you look at this plant you see look at the stem. So the stem is like kind of moving horizontally and again it is giving rise to another part of the plant. So, so that way is you know the stem is kind of moving horizontally along the ground. So this is also a modified sub aerial stem. So strawberry is one such example where you have this type of modified sub aerial stem. So you see these stems. So these stems are again weak stems. They cannot stand upright. So they either spread on the ground or creep on the ground. And that's how they 
provide support to the entire plant because it is very important that the entire plant gets some mechanical support only then they'll be able to stand otherwise the plant will not be able to stand on its own so forget about performing any function aerial stems again another modification of aerial stems are the stem thorns now here we will look at the defense mechanism how uh, stems can provide protection to plants now there are sometimes the stems they get modified to woody and pointed structures now let's let's have a look at these so these pointed structures is is very commonly seen in the citrus plants like oranges or lemons so you will see some thorn like structures and th these are sharp enough to ha hurt somebody so if you directly touch this plant sometimes you will get hurt so the this these structures are the stem thorns in fact you would have seen these kind of uh, you you would have seen spines or thorns in many other plants like in uh, in a rose plant also you have those thorns in cactus also you have those thorns but not in all of these plants those thorns are the modifications of stem so here we are talking about those thorns which are modifications of stem so when we talk about the citrus plants so here the stems are modified to form these thorns but when you talk about cactus or a rose plant it is not the stem that is modified to form that spine right so these thorns they develop from axillary buds the buds which are present at the axils so obviously it provides protection definitely so you see here in this case you can see a plant where again you can very noticeably you can see the presence of these thorns so these thorns whenever uh, some insect or some other animal tries to attack that plant so they generally get hurt by these thorns so that's how it protects the plant so th there we see the stems with this modification they provide defense to the plant thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.